What parts of your culture was difficult to maintain, and how was it difficult? I think first for me was their language, because <clears throat> because uh, my dad, my stepfather, I call him dad. My dad was basically doesn't know how to speak Tagalog, right? So uh, so he doesn't want us to speak Tagalog in front of him because I know it's rude. I don't understand because he doesn't understand it. So that was difficult because most of the time he's there, and then if we're if we are alone and he's not there, then we speak in Tagalog. And now I feel bad for myself because sometimes it's when I try to speak in Tagalog, right? I hit up on a home, figure out your own words, na hindi ko magamit na English or hindi ako nandito divert back in English. So I find uh-huh. it really hard to maintain my language. So even at dialects, I used to know Visaya and then mm-hmm. Longo, and now when I speak Visaya, it sounds really awkward. Oh. You know, so I feel so bad. That's why. Whenever I talk to my friends, I always want to speak in Visaya or like Tagalog, you know, because like I want to polish my English too, because I have a, a bad pronunciation sometimes, so it gets really difficult. Another one thing is eating together, because what I do notice here is that the country culture is more individualized. So when you get home, the it's typical that, that we don't eat together, and then. Because I think I remember the first time I ate here, I was waiting for my dad basically to to finish work, and then I I was like it was already nine p.m. and he still didn't like like invite us to eat with him, so we were like waiting. <laughs> and, we were, like, and then finally, my mom asked my dad if he wanted to eat, and then he was kind of like mad a little bit because why we were why were we waiting for him to basically eat, and I was like oh. And then we didn't know that we don't need to wait for him, but that's how we do it in the Philippines, mm-hmm. and right. And I'm like, oh. And now, yeah. So now I just wait for my mom to eat. I yeah. Oh. Yeah. So I only yeah I I miss that though that eating together. It's a big one. Exactly, and um bonding like mm-hmm. here. Family. Families don't really bond with each other. Like in the, f- I don't. I know back then, like every weekend we would go somewhere, like just to the mall, mm-hmm. and then walk around, or like after work, hang out with your family. That's, that's how we do it before. Mm-hmm. And I just don't do it with my mom. You know, Christmas. You, kailang mo Christmas after no, after school, after work with your family. It's like, it's a traditional Filipino thing, and I just don't find it here. And just, I I miss that though. Oh. So yeah, I miss my family. Mm. Sa akin naman, when I came here, it's different because before I moved to, um, before I moved to Washington, my dad got divorced when I was in, um, when I was, when I moved back to Washington, my dad got divorced in, Dece- in December, and so the hard thing for me is that I have to go back and forth between here and in Washington State, in Seattle, because my dad lived here and my mom lives here. And so the before them, um, in the Philippines, lagi kami magkakasama ng nanay at tatay ko. We're together, we're uh-huh. happy, family. Uh-huh. When I came to America, kasi sa Pilipinas, um, hindi uso ang divorce Pilipinas. So when it's I came... It's not allowed. Yeah, and it's not allowed <laughs> in the Philippines. It's um, prohibited. And so when I came here, I told them why the Filipino ngayon mga divorce ang parents. And so when I had that experience of getting having my parents divorce, it's really hard for me and my mom as well to um, for my dad to be part um, separate from our families and my grandma as well. And so now I'm here in um, so last year I was with my dad for four years of high school. And so, and I came here um, in California just to visit my mom every Christmas, and that's really hard for me to go back and forth and visit the, each one of them. And if they didn't have that kind of separation, if my dad didn't um, um, divorce my mom, like we would probably be happy together. We would um, we would even go to Philippines together. I mean, if we went, if we didn't come to the America, we would be happy. Like we could, I don't care for the money. Like, and the reason why my 
is that he came to America first because the only thing he wanted to get his car and to be he, his, um, his main purpose is to become an American citizen and that's why my dad came to the Philippines first and that's um, my mom came, my mom and I came to second and so if my dad didn't decide to go here in America we would be in the Philippines um, living a happy family but instead we our family like was broken. Oh. Yeah, and That's so, a common story too. Yeah, and I really um I really miss the time when I was young in the Philippines. I go to school in the Philippines. I had a my mom um actually made me go to school. It's because for my own good and I get to learn a lot. And in there I get to have like a best school. I went to um a private school and it's like the best school I went to and it's called the CLI and it's a Christian school based. Um, it's based in a Christian school, and yeah, and, and I get to experience a lot of things. I get to learn a lot. And when I came here in America and study here, I ended up being in special ed because for some reason, maybe because of my accent or because um, I don't speak English very well. Yeah. It's just for me, they put me down. It's yeah. because, very because sure. I'm Filipino. It doesn't mean if I'm Filipino, right. I don't know how to speak English. Yeah, you're smarter than yeah. most people. Yeah. Okay. So it's kind of different when I came here. But if I would stay in the Philippines, I would be happy. I would stay with my friends. I would be glad to be with... Um, with all my family, so we would be ha live happily ever after. I mean, Philip, and now I haven't been going back to Philippines. It, and although my mom, or my family is in here, my uh, my my uncle, my grandma, they went, they all went to the Philippines before. They all um, and now my my uncle is going back to the Philippines, and I wanted to come with him, but I couldn't because of the money, and plus I need a passport. And so they said that if I went back to the Philippines, I cannot go back to America anymore. And which is weird because I, even though I grew up here, I couldn't, if I went back for vacation, I couldn't come to America. Do Dang. That's messed up. Yeah. Wait, do you have friends here that um, you hang out with? Yeah. I seen, I seen you sometimes hanging out with some, with the, the, uh, the, the other um, Filipinos? Filipinos? Yeah. You, you're, you guys are friends, right? Yeah. Jade. Jade too, right? Yeah. So I usually nowadays hang out with the Filipinos. And when I hear it's Caroline, it feels like it's Manila to me, you know? It feels like <laughs> I'm in the Philippines. Like, yay! <laughs> I'm good to be home at last. I'm going to be see my Filipinos. I got to be, you know... Yeah. 